Dr. Tim checking in. All right. Cheese. Enough said? No, not really. I have a lot of questions about cheese. I hear it all the time. Hey, Doc, you know, uh, back in the Atkins day, the uh, protein diet, you know, hey, I can eat as much cheese as I want. Yeah, absolutely, you sure can, as long as you want to pack it all around your waist because it's not going to be utilized. It's not going to be metabolized. You're not going to process it well. The energy isn't there. Calcium is important in everyone's diet. That's without a doubt. However, when you look at cheese, or any food in particular, do you see high energy in that food? Or do you see a big clump of dairy and oil mixed together that's essentially going to clog up your arteries and uh, slow you down all day? Cheese is not your better choice for a snack. Uh, now, cheese as an additive or a flavor or something, a pinch here, a pinch there, that's fine. Balance is always key to any meal plan or any diet or any lifestyle nutrition plan. However, if your snack is cheese, there are a kajillion better choices than cheese. Don't be fooled. Don't talk yourself into the fact that, hey, you know, cheese is good for you. All you have to do is look at it. It's gonna look back at you. It's gonna look back at you. And you can either put it on your thigh, you can either put it on your belly, or put it from back, back of your arm, because it's not gonna go anywhere else. It's gonna be fat. It's going to be converted to fat, not energy. Don't do it. Avoid the cheese, moderate the cheese, minimize your cheese, and you won't be a cheesy person. <laughs>